Hello, is this Salamancer? No, this is Patrick. Anyway, we're going to be watching a uh, ESCA open game here on Sal TV between PsyOps and 22D. I think it's 22D, not 22nd, because there would be an N if it were 22nd. But uh, there was a pause at the beginning of the game, which just threw me for a loop. I didn't know why my mouse wasn't working, but apparently uh, it was the pause. Anyway, C has gone down. In fact, 22D is dropping out of here, getting chased, I think, by Blueberry Villain. Uh, and that was no losses there for PsyOps. They're going to be quite happy about that. Of course, you guys, uh, if you've watched this channel before, and if you watched, especially, like, since the beginning of it, or if you've watched, like, all of my videos, you will know the team PsyOps as either Water Vapor or Fragnetic. Uh, it's not all the same players, but two of the players are definitely the same, and that's going to be Mike and Cherries, a.k.a. Cherise, a.k.a. Miss Awesome. So, um, you know them. You also know Christopher, actually, who used to be on that team. Christopher, the demo man now for 22D, uh, did leave Fragnetic back when it was, I think, called Fragnetic uh, a while ago. So he's on he's on 22D now. Kind of a grudge match thing going on here. And then we have um, a lot of other players I recognize too. Neo Russia, for instance, who I want to say Neo Russia was one of the uh, one of the stars of the Draft Cup, the TF2 Pug NA Draft Cup, which was basically a bunch of. Uh, uh, players who were not on ESEA teams, coupled with medics who were like, uh, not prem, <laughs> invite level. Um, and so that was, that was what the Draft Cup was all about. And yes, Neo Russia was definitely one of the stars of that. I think he was playing on Harblue's team, and he just went nuts. But right now he's actually, okay, yeah, he is playing Soldier, okay, that is his main class. Um... C, Maniac, I don't know who Tomunist is, I don't think I've ever seen that name before, and Jay Schmitz is a new one to me, but, um, of course you guys will also know Blueberry Villain from PsyOps over on the left side, uh, Flyweight, Microphone, etc., Microphone is of course mic, and then Trisk, who used to be on, was that, uh, the Gryffindor team, possibly? Yeah, it was 10 points to Gryffindor, so... Yes, it was. He was, in fact, on 10 points to give him board. So, uh, these guys, uh, a lot of familiar faces here in this game. And it looks like uh, Trisk decided to run in there as a heavy. We do have a soldier on the point right now. And I... Oh, so close to getting that point. I think they will get this. There you go. Psyops brings it to an early 1-0 lead. Uh, while I decided to talk about people instead of players. Or instead of plays. Players instead of plays is what happened. Um, oh, this is different. Oh, this is different. Oh, this is different. Okay, sorry. So, this is this is like... Not the official final version of CP Gully Wash. This is uh, apparently like the last version of Gully Wash before it was made official, and that is the map that ESCA has decided to use. Um, by the way, thank you to Technosex uh, for in the stream chat. He was the one who actually showed that to me. But a good mid fight going down here, and uh, a little bit of weird stuttering. I think that might just be my computer. But Mike could not get out there, and there you go. That is probably a pause. Okay, so, didn't really skip anything there. Um, 22D winning that mid-fight, and it looks like they do want to push in. I did have to lower the game volume, because apparently it was too loud, so my bad. Uh, and Tommyist, I actually just figured out where he's from during that pause. My uh, my stream chat told me he is an Australian medic. That would explain his uh, ping. He was former Div 1 as well, so this guy, uh, not a bad medic at all, although he did get caught out there by Blueberry Villain, who got two kills. Uh, it's going to be the Medic and Demo, so it's 3 versus 3 right now. Jay Schmitz trying to run into the last point here and skipping that sentry, but took in a little bit too much damage there, and there is water down there. So yes, this is an older version of Gully Wash. Um, not entirely sure why they're playing with the water. That confuses me. Um, but it's not going to be too much different. Uh, and in fact, it just makes it so people can't hide down there indefinitely, or else they will start taking drowning damage. Uh, microphone that does get taken out by C, and now we've got our uh, blue team trying to push out here. Um, Psyops do not want to get back after those, so they're going to have to be careful. And there goes Trisk. Nice shot there by C. Wow. Okay, so that was pretty uh, pretty intense. Um, and we will, I think, be seeing 22D um, pushing in again pretty soon. They have a no uber advantage, though. And somebody just asked if there was an air pocket. So actually, is there an air pocket? is, uh, yeah, maybe, yes, but you can see it. You can see it. So that's the thing. If, if you go down there and uh, you, you try to wait around and hide in the water, somebody can look down and see your little head there floating in the water coming up for air. So uh, it's it's more of a risky play. Very true. Anyway, 22D here. I uh, look like they're prepared to push in again, but they got to be careful. 
as there are stickies all over the place. They do not want to push into those. There you go. Blow them back out of the way into the water where they can't hurt anybody. They actually can still hurt you. And 22D deciding not to go that way because they do have to deal with BD, the demo man for PsyOps right now. Microphone is on Sniper and has spotted out the demo now. Can't get that shot off though. Tough shot to make when the demo's, you know, whirling back and forth. Although I tell you what, when I try to do that kind of like dodging maneuver behind cover and whatever else, I just get headshot instantly. So somebody has got to explain to me how to make yourself uh, less of a target for snipers because apparently I can't do it. And BD is black dynamite, by the way. Stream chat is really helping me out today. I just want you guys to know that that uh, <laughs> if you have helpful things to say during one of my shoutcasts, um, show up to twitch.tv slash fatmop and tell me how much of an idiot I am and help me cast the game because I need it. Definitely need it. Anyway, uh, PsyOps still sitting on their last here and it is a tough last to push into. Gully Wash last, very difficult. Uh, you kind of need to get a pick, and that is exactly not what happened. That is the opposite of what happened. In fact, C just walked in there and I think got splattered by a sticky trap. So, 22D, not going to be able to push for a while. And actually, oh no, there was an Uber Force somewhere. Where did that even happen? I don't know. Um, maybe in the water, possibly, because it looks like that's where they just came out of. But now the Uber is just now popped. Timing just gets taken down, and 22D is losing a couple players here. Um, Cherry is keeping most of the players alive. Trisk is gone, but that is the only casualty so far. 22D is lost in the air rush right now as well. So, I'm sorry, I thought I heard something, but hopefully I didn't. Um, 22D did get a couple spawners there, and PsyOps deciding they couldn't push off of that for some reason. Uh, no, there they go. That's a very delayed push, though. Oh, it's not a good idea. Black Dynamite coming out there, and they've already lost their Medic. Can they get this capture? They kind of have to, because if they've lost their Medic like that, they're going to have a huge Uber disadvantage, and that would actually mean a really good thing for 22D to push into last. Uh, so they need to get this capture, or they need to kill the Medic, one of the two. If they don't, and they didn't, then I think 22D can win this round. So we just kind of have to wait for 22D to build that Uber up. They've got a huge advantage now. They've even got a player advantage as Trisk is down, so they can start spamming on these doors, and you know there's, there's less that PsyOps can really do to prevent it. Flyweight's going to try and set up a sentry once again, but beautiful spam there by Neo Russia to immediately take that down. He's got to be feeling, feeling pretty good, patting himself on the back right now. Uh, 22D will be pushing in pretty darn soon here. They've got the charge, and they're just kind of waiting for the right moment. Trisk goes down there in the corner, and spawn doors opening, closing, flyweight trying to keep himself alive. But the thing is, uh, if you're standing in spawn, it's going to be a little bit tougher for you to stop the capture on the point. There is a demo man on the point right now, and he's the only one able to stop it. Black Dynamite had to walk off the point just to keep himself alive, and that brings it to 1-1. to -one. 22D versus PsyOps. Somebody's saying they got a pause, so there you go. All right, so uh, discussions of hats aside, because that's what I was doing with my stream chat. We were talking about how they should add a hitbox on the hats so that you can shoot it and then go retrieve it and you can get your own unusual. Um, 22D getting out here for the mid-fight, and that is kind of loud. So what the heck is that? It's something like outside my room. Somebody's like running something very squeaky. Um, Nonetheless, 22D won that quite easily. PsyOps decided to give up that mid-fight there, and maybe they were expecting to be able to trap the 22D team somehow, or maybe it was because they lost a player at the beginning of that round and just decided not to really go for it. They have caught out Christopher, though, and he gets taken down. Where are my kill notifications? They are gone. That is not good. So 22D has lost three players, and I don't really know what to do about the kill notification problem because uh, I tried reloading the HUD and it didn't do anything. Oh no! So we're just going to have to watch very carefully here on the right side to see who dies and who lives. Um, 22D gets the rest of their players up pretty much here except for C who has a very long respawn timer for some reason. And we've got some fighting going on over here behind. That was going to be uh, Black Dynamite trying to jump in and force the Uber pop and he did. Uh, so now Cherries can, yeah there you go, pop her own Uber there on the soldier. That's going to be Blueberry Villain and he will be not getting any kills, actually, so they decided to back out, which is a wise thing to do. Um, they could have been, like, more aggressive with that, I think, but probably a good choice to just back out, and they're going back down through garage, actually. They they have no illusions of being able to hold on to the middle points, and my god, we can't even see the points right now. Wow, that's annoying. Um, so, there you go. Middle point is now in possession, I'm sorry, in the possession of 22D. Somebody made fun of me for saying something was in possession of a team, and I was just like, yeah, that's bad English. Yeah, I agree. So, um, I'll try not to say that. Uh, but we are on the blueberry, blueberry villain cam right now, even though it doesn't say that. This is 
the villain himself, made entirely out of blueberry filling, and he is so tasty, but that aside, he's going to be peeking around here and trying to deal a bunch of damage to the 22D team through that choke. Um, and there you go, the Uber is popped just a little bit early there for 22D because they knew they had a slight, slight advantage, but they could not take advantage of it. Um, so Cherry stays alive and is now helping her team with her own Uber get forward here onto Tommyness, who is probably going to end up dying here. I, whoa, they're not even focusing him. Tommyness had so little health there, and they didn't go after him. They went for the fragging class instead. There he goes. Tommyness taken down um, in the aftermath of all that. Once the soldier was gone, there was really nothing that's, that medic could do. So, Christopher running back here indoors. Let's make sure he stays alive. Maybe sets down a sticky trap somewhere. Where is he going to do this? Where, is, where are you, you going to do it, Chris? Where, where is it going to happen? He's not going to set down a sticky trap. He's just going to start spamming. There you go. Okay, so he is actually trapping this uh, hallway. It's a very common thing to do. And people, I mean, people know. They know to watch to go around for that. So, uh, they're going to just start trying to spam some explosives in there and maybe knock the uh, knock the stickies around a little bit so they aren't all in one place. They don't deal the like, crazy damage when they walk around. Um, and that's pretty much where we're going to be right now. It's going to be pretty standard, you know, gully wash where the scouts and Romer kind of watch each other over in the garage and the core of the demo man, medic and uh, pocket soldier kind of watch each other through this choke point. Actually, these guys are playing really far back right now, and this is a wise thing to do by 22D. They know they have a slight uber disadvantage because their medic came up uh, uh, quite a bit late. Uber has popped really early, actually, for, for PsyOps. They pushed on the clock. They knew they had the advantage. They are going after uh, Timeus right now, and they take him down. So th uh, it's not going to be any sort of Uber defensively for 22D. Nonetheless, they are getting the frags, and that's what matters. 22D going to be able to push out to the middle point, which is currently held by PsyOps. But wow, did Black Dynamite ever just get owned right there? And that, uh, I don't even know which scout this is because I can't tell. Oh, that's so annoying. Well, I tried to get my HUD back because I want to know who this was who just got that that crazy like shot in the face there on Black Dynamite, but I don't know, so uh, we may never be able to tell. Oh, no, wait, it's Jay Schmitz, because we actually can tell because he just got overhealed. Nice! Okay, so that was Jay Schmitz, I think, with the kill on Black Dynamite. Um, and he, let's see what hat he's wearing. He is wearing completely vanilla. What about his friend there? Okay, so his friend, uh, who is Maniac, is wearing the green hat. We, we're going to have to remember that because it's not going to show. So, <clears throat> and PsyOps is now in the same position that 22D was standing in just a little while ago, where they're going to be sitting back here and attempting to build their Uber up while, s while watching these choke points and spamming around them and making sure that nothing gets passed, because there are only two chokes. Um, there are only two chokes, and so it's very easy to split your team up, three and three on, you know, three on each choke, and just watch it until something happens, or until somebody like accidentally takes too much damage, or until you know a pick happens, like if somebody went sniper and got a headshot or two, um, you know, or until somebody just gets really bored and pushes into each other, which might be what happens. And how much time is left right now? Uh, no time left, of course, because why would there be time left? Let's see. I pledge allegiance to the. F okay, well that's nice. That's that's a very good sentiment. Um, of course, we here in North America, we, we say the pledge every single day. Just kidding, we don't always do that. And if you guys don't, uh, if you don't hear from me again, then you will know I was sent to a secret detention camp. So, 22D, doing some really aggressive spam there, actually, but Neo Russia did just get taken down. So, if anything, I think Psyops wants to push on that. They do, but they do have to deal with stickies. And that's the tough part of this, is that this choke is so bad, especially with that demo man there, that you kind of have to pop the Uber really early and your opponents can then, you know, use that uh, that advantage that they get. Because you've popped yours first, they pop theirs second. But actually, they're not using it too well right now. They're getting pressure a little bit. Uh, Maniac just got taken down, and there goes Blueberry Villain and Mike. So, actually, 22D is going to be fine. And, oh, we've got some of our HUD back. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, I don't know why that bug happened or what made it stop, but thank you, TF2. Um, and Psyops backing out now. They actually have to deal with the scout getting a back cap, so uh, let's see who wins this. We've got Flyweight versus Schmitz, and Schmitz ends up winning that battle. Uh, Cherry's trying to keep her team alive by staying indoors, and staying indoors, kids, uh, keeping out of the sun in this weather, I mean, that's probably a good idea, to be perfectly honest, because uh, 
it, it's a very clear day. It looks very hot right now, especially if these guys are playing, you know, somewhere in the southern hemisphere where there's like no ozone whatsoever. They could get a sunburn um, very easily. So you know, wear your mask, wear your SPF 50, whatever else, and try not to go outdoors if you can avoid it. Um, let's see here. So we've got 22D on the middle point right now, and they're playing pretty far back because they know they have an uber disadvantage of about 30% right now. They, so they're, they're going to play pretty far back, and that the reason for that is that they want to be able to drop their medic back if the enemy pushes into them like they are doing right now. They're going to push in with that uber, jump straight for the medic, and see if they can't. Well, I thought they were going to jump straight for the medic and get that kill. And there you go. Now they're going for the medic. They want to take out Tommyness here because he's got 94% and 30 health, but he might get away from this. Nobody chasing him down anymore, so he does, in fact, go back, grab that health kit, and what are you doing, Tommyness? What are you doing? Oh, this is risky. But he actually got away with it. Okay, so he went and found the scout. And somebody's running a circular saw outside of my apartment. What is going on? Um, but uh, Tommyist just found a scout there. And that was risky. He, I'm sure there was communication going on where the scout was like, Yeah, yeah, no, you can come pick me up. 6%, we can do this. So, like, they, you know, that was good. They knew they could do it. But they picked up their Uber. They're just fine. And there it goes. The Uber is popped now. They're pushing around the corner, but they lost uh, C right away there because he was not close enough for the Uber to get flashed with it. And now uh, Black Dynamite is taken down and returned. Uh, I think Psyops may end up losing the second point here, especially if they get spammed out of their own base like this from the enemy demo man. But uh, Tommyist is down, so no medic at the moment. And that's going to be good as long as they can keep their medic alive. And Jay Schmitz does get taken down. Christopher now setting up sticky traps back here, expecting someone to push into him, but it's too late. Those stickies have been taken down mostly. And so now uh, Chris and the two demo men. Oh no! Uh, Chris I actually just got a really nice. I didn't see whether that was a direct pipe or a roller or what, but Sherry, I think, just dropped an Uber. It's what it sounded like. So um, 22D is going to be holding on pretty easily here. On the middle point, and so um, to be perfectly honest, I was I was told that uh, that the first half of this game was quote unquote boring. I have not found it boring so far. I've actually found it pretty interesting to watch these teams go back and forth here. But um, the person who wanted me to cast this was like, "Yeah, the first half is boring, but the second half is where the action is at." Um, and uh, you know what? I'll give you that. I'll give you that because. Um, uh, we've, we've seen, it's been quite a long time here where these teams have vied for control of the middle point, gone really back and forth, and a nice little, uh, there was a nice little soldier trap up there if, if somebody decided to walk through, but nobody usually does because they know that trap exists. Um, that That is totally a circular, so I'm going to go look at this. Um, well, my apologies, that is probably going to continue, which is a little bit annoying, I know. Um, it's like a jackhammer or something outside my apartment because they're working on the, uh, the concrete in the little garden area. Oh man, I picked the wrong time to sh quit shoutcasting. I was gonna say quit sniffing glue because that's an airplane line, and I love airplane, but uh, I don't actually sniff glue as much as it might sound like it sometimes. Anyway, Psyops actually got in there and uh, with a very nice Uber, just cherries and the roaming soldier there, Trisk, um, stopping the capture at least temporarily on the middle point. But this is oh, this is a little bit risky. I think what they did there was they said okay. Yeah, there was a little bit of a confusion there. I think Cherries wanted to retreat, maybe go grab a health kit or something like that, but um, was thinking, yeah, let's retreat, because there, it looked like a push from 22D before PsyOps was really ready for it, but actually it was not. And so the, the entire PsyOps team did reinforce just fine. So now they are pushing on to second here and could... Um, they've got a slight uber advantage. If they can push in the last properly, they could do really well. Uh, doing a lot of damage here to the 22D team as well, which I'm kind of liking, although that most of that damage is going to get healed up because there's a medic up there. Uh, if they had managed to properly bomb in like a demo or a soldier, they could have done so much splash damage to those guys. It would have been crazy. But um, as it is, 22D with a, a decent little... Kind of risky, but a decent little forward hold there to try and force... Uh, for PsyOps back, because they, they knew they had an uber disadvantage. They played smart. They knew that they had a disadvantage, so they said, okay, we're going to try and delay them a little bit, and they did. Um, Mike is actually down right now as well, so there is no way that... Oh, excuse me. There is no way that the PsyOps team is going to push in to last um, down a man against an engineer heavy and pyro. You were kidding me. Um, that's pretty crazy. And this guy here... Actually, okay, so I saw today on Reddit which would be yesterday if you're watching this on YouTube, but I saw this on Reddit. Um, the, the Hobo Heavy 
which was like he had this this uh, the Santa beard, but it was colored yellowish, like tan, uh, and he had uh, the tough guy's toque, just painted like bright orange, you know, like the natural color, and uh, and then some glasses. I forget it might have been the summer shades, and he was standing there holding a sandwich, and I was just like. That looks hilarious. Looks like uh, looks like the homeless guy that lives outside of my apartment. No, just kidding. There isn't one of those. At least not right next to it. There is actually uh, a very big intersection nearby where a couple of guys do go out and ask for money, which uh, it really sucks that that even happens because you know they they anyway. I'm not I'm not blaming people who need to beg for money. That's not my uh, point. Um, Psyops, though, trying to push in here, and that's not going to work very well at all. They lost a lot of players. Uh, the only kill they got was the Pyro. And they are actually pushing with a Heavy of their own, but he gets spammed out so fast and actually killed by the opposing Heavy. So Heavy versus Heavy action, and Maniac won that one. And no, okay, somebody in my stream chat was just like, wait a minute, homeless guys with jackhammers working on your garden? No. No. The, the guys out working on the garden are different. <laughs> it's not the same guys. All right. Um, oh, interesting little trap here. Can that actually blow up through the floor? Probably in a very narrow little clipping area, it can. So if somebody stands like right where Cherries was standing just there, could have been killed by that, uh, could have been killed by that thing. Mike is going in, whoa, that was kind of close. Okay, Mike's going in here for a uh, potential backstab. Oh, this is not going to work at all. Yeah, he just decloaked right in front of that heavy. <laughs> Did what? Did the heavy not see him do that? I I don't think the heavy saw him do that. Um All right. I mean there is a pyro who I think has noticed the spy now, so they they know there's a spy there. They know they know it. That was I'm confused, though. I thought that Heavy saw him decloak. Maybe he was just completely not paying attention to his screen at that point. I don't know. Um, but Mike is going to go in and try it again. But yeah, look at this. The Pyro is spraying fire all over the place. He knows. He knows what's up. Uh, Mike actually decloaks here and gets spotted out. Air blasted. And he has got mail. It is all bills and letters from Publishers Clearinghouse tell him that he's not actually won $10 million. And uh, they don't need to know who to write the check out to because, sorry, you're a loser. <laughs> Mike is going to hate me for that line, by the way. Um, anyway, 22D is going to set up some sticky bombs and, and basically just turtle up hardcore here. Which would not surprise me. But they kind of need to... Um, I mean... They need PsyOps to push in and wipe out before they can really go back out and attack second point and try to recapture it. Because, of course, if they try to recapture it right now, well, what's going to happen? They're going to get back capped, right? So they need their opponents to push in and wipe out. And their opponents realize that. So they're just going to stand back and say, yeah, we're just going to... Oh, well, okay. I should stop making predictions. I'm just going to stop. Because uh, what happened there was actually the opposite of what I was saying. Uh, Psyops team got a little bored, I think, and they said, okay, well, let's try to push in now and see what we can't get accomplished. Um, oh, Mike just got taken out there. But uh, so did Maniac, so there's no heavy right now. It's just there's only two players left alive to even attempt to defend second. And that is exactly what 22D needed. Uh, they needed their opponents to push in and wipe out like that so that they could push out and recapture the second point and not be in danger of losing the round, which is exactly what they're doing. Nice. But, uh, I mean, before, when, when we saw the the spy play, for instance, and the entire PSYOP team was just kind of waiting for like two minutes. That is what I was talking about, where they just said, okay, well, we know that they can't push out, so we're just going to try and go for picks, and we're going to try weird stuff, like getting a spy or, you know, getting a sniper or whatever else. Um, they, of course, tried the spy uh, to get a pick, to get a kill, or two or three or whatever. And now 22D is pushing on to the middle point with their Uber. They know that they, uh, the opposing team did just start building theirs. So it's not going to be too much of a disadvantage. They are going to get the capture. Although, Triss coming in here, trying to get a kill. C ends up finishing him off. And Chris only has about 10 health left. Crazy stuff right now. Neo Russia, on the other hand, it has an overheal. and looks like he wants to get in here with his strange festive rocket launcher and get a kill. He does get the kill on Flyaway. Nice, uh, nice rocket prediction there on that scout. Um, he's just like, no scout. You haven't got nothing on me. And Neo Russia finishing off the last little sticky bomb trap there on the point. So now, it's a question of whether 22D can actually push into their opponent's uh, last point 
and capture it to bring it up to, I think, 2-1, to one, right? Yeah, it is 1-1 one one right now. So, can they do it? Ask the question. Right now there is flyweight once again on the Engineer. I don't see where his sentry is, though. And a very forward hold here by Cherries, who actually has 100% uber, but, ooh, interesting. They did pop that, and they are forcing a multi-uber from red. So, actually, not a bad move, as long as they can get away, but can they? They're getting body blocked and pushed all over the place. Medic gets taken down there by Christopher. Problem is, Christopher and Neo Russia are both down as well, uh, and Tommy just gets taken down. So, <laughs> Uh, it's going to be C and, I'm sorry, yeah, just C and Jace Mitch left, and now it's just C by himself, standing upstairs. Um, so that attack did not work out for 22D at all. And the reason it didn't work out really is mostly that they got pushed into. They were they were assaulted there on the uh, uh, on the upstairs area there. They got, they got an uber push, like, into their faces before they were ready to push themselves. So they stayed alive during that, but then they tried to turn that into a push instead of just standing back and saying, okay, well, no, we really shouldn't do that. Uh, and that, of course, gave Blue Team Psyops the second point. Which I think they're going to be pretty happy with. They're going to say, okay, yeah, we don't need to worry about losing this round just yet. They did lose tri uh, Trisk, though. I was going to say Triops. <laughs> ha! It's funny, because a lot of people like to make jokes about tryhards. Now they can be Triops, right? That's funny. That's not really funny. Um... Blueberry Villain, though, is just going to sneak around here and try to deal a little bit more damage with these rockets. Uh, and he will. Of course, the damage isn't going to mean much of anything, because the medic will keep most of the team uh, alive and healthy for both sides of this little standoff. There's actually a new ready to go for Cherry, so I wonder if they realize that they had an advantage there. Probably not. They could have pushed on it, but now, whoa, Blueberry Villain needs to be careful with that. Because uh, pushing around that corner there is very, very dangerous and you can get juggled and killed so fast that uh, it puts your team at a disadvantage if you die here. A significant disadvantage. Six on five is real bad. So, uh, Blueberry's going to start working on those stickies just because he can. There is no point in leaving them there when you can kill them. Here comes a soldier, and can he get air shot? Uh, decent air shot there. Not like a, a wicked air shot. That was a decent air shot, though. Um, it hit him before he hit the ground. So we'll call it, we'll call it a, an air shot for Blueberry Villain right there. And now he's going to start working on more stickies. They do have a slight advantage here in that they took out a soldier and only lost a scout. Um, but that is very slight indeed because, of course, if they lost a scout, it's harder to watch their flanks properly. And now, Tommyist is kind of uh, making the claim that must, a lot of the players are thinking here, which is, oh, this is boring because we're not able to push into each other because these chokes are narrow and capturing is hard and blah, 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 blah. But you know what? That's too bad. You need to deal with it because we're having fun watching you guys. At least I hope you're having fun watching. If you're not having fun watching, well, just turn this video off right now or or skip ahead to the second half. I mean, I'm not going to blame you if you try to do that. But, oh, look at that sticky trap. Whoa. Yeah, probably shouldn't have because, honestly, there is still crazy stuff going on here. And there you go. Wow. Um, Cherries took a lot of damage there and could have died, ended up uh, just holding on to the uber for just the right amount to keep yourself alive. Uh, Black Dynamite's now trying to get a kill on the scout who's behind the rocks, but he could get pressured in. you got to be careful. There you go. Blueberry taking out uh, Jay Schmitz, who was trying to pressure into the combo. And now with two players down, 22D's got to be really careful about this. They should probably back up a little more than they already have, but they uh, they just do not want to give up an inch without fighting for it. That was a little bit gross. Um, Psyops, though is putting up the proper fight. So uh, even though 22D tried to hold on to that a little bit, they really can't. And now Psyops has the middle point once again. They're going to try to push around this choke very quickly because they do have, well, they had an uber advantage, I thought, but it has dissipated rapidly. So it's actually the, uh, the roamer action over here, the scouts and the roaming soldier. They are getting really aggressive here, and now both the ubers do pop. So uh, there's going to be an uber action over here, and invincible everybody with 22D kind of getting the upper hand right now. Actually, I think their uber popped a lot later, and they are chasing down the medic right now, who is somehow staying alive. Neo Russia got taken out, and now this, the demo man has been juggled. Tommy just took a lot of damage, but they do back safely out of there. Uh, with most of the PSYOPs team very heavily damaged and still pushing in anyway. Oh, got to be careful about this. But they managed to take out the Devilman Christopher. Now Tommyist is in trouble. And there you go. PSYOPs will be able to capture that point. Although they're getting spammed here by C, who's going to do a great job. And can he take out the medic? Yes, he can. Jerry's is down. And <laughs> that is uh, 
It's about as excited as you'll ever hear me get right there with the being unable to breathe and all that. And they call a good half, so that is uh, that is why there was so much action going on, because it was the end of the half. Now I understand. Okay, now, going into the second half here, this is where it supposedly gets way exciting. Match is now live, so these guys are ready to play. And the scores are only at 1-1 one to one after an exceptionally long and quite entertaining first half, in my opinion. Uh, Chris is going to jump straight out these doors, though, and go on the left-hand side. Looks like that is going to be the rollout of choice for him, but not for his opponents, who are taking a right-hand rollout. Black Dynamite is taken out very quickly, and so does Flyweight. Chris Safad, though, also taken down in that pressure. And so it's... Oh, no! 22D. I was going to say it was two down for each team, but 22D just lost... Or just killed almost everybody, and they did. They wiped out their opponents. Psyops losing everyone, and that's going to be a big deal, because they can just leave, like, one scout behind to finish off the capture on that point. 22D will get their soldiers and medic over here to capture the second point immediately, and there is nothing that just a demo and a scout can really do about that, so um, especially with this soldier up here on the perch. I like that positioning here by C. So, that is going to be a very quick second point capture for 22D, and I do believe they will turn that into a point here very quickly as well, because with a 100% uber advantage and not a lot of forward holding by the Psyops team, there just isn't a lot they can do on defense. They've got an engineer, but I doubt that he even has a level 3 sentry up yet. Where is he? I... I don't know. There's sentry. Oh, it's down here. Okay, it's level one. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. The Uber is popped. There's a pyro trying to air blast all this stuff away, but there's a scout on the point right now. Somebody's going to go have to stand on that, and that is a scary place to be. Somehow they got three kills there on Psyops, though, so they are keeping uh, keeping their cool and needle kill there on Neo Russia from Cherries. Finishing that off. Flyway's sent to about uh, 19 health, but he will be okay. Blueberry Villain starting to try to capture the second point and keep this scout away. And it looks like he can do that, so they will actually get out here. They have defended that um, very successfully. I think 22D may have just been a little over-eager in their push, didn't get the kills they needed when they pushed into last, uh, especially because of that pyro. I want to say the pyro did a really good job of blasting that around and just uh, completely making them miss everything. Blueberry took a lot of damage there, so he can't rocket jump like he wants to right now to the enemies, but it doesn't even matter. He's going to get the kill on Christopher. Pop another soldier up in the air. Now he's got the uber. Going to try and kill this soldier, and he does. Takes down C quite easily. Um, so that is going to be very nice for the PsyOps team. They should be able to get this kill. <laughs> yeah, well, they should be able to get the kill. There you go. Maniac is down. But also the capture on the middle point after having lost that mid-fight in a grand fashion and very close to losing the round. They are now pushing forward towards the second point. Meanwhile, 22D playing this just about right. I mean, they, they know they've got an uber disadvantage. They know that their opponents are going to push in with a superior player count and health and all that. So they need to back up and be very conservative about how they do this. Um, they're going to use the choke points to their advantage, so they're going to try and hold a little bit forward for as long as they can, delay their opponents from coming in here. They've got a sticky trap, of course, set on those doors and upstairs, and it was detonated to try and stop this soldier from getting up there. Now we've got uh, Demo trying to spam in, and this could be interesting if the blue team does not retreat uh, effectively, but they did retreat. They know what to do. They, they know what is up, and they have C now on the pyro. Uh, he's going to be ready to try and blast this stuff away from the medic, and it worked so far. He's trying to keep the medic safe and alive, uh, and Timiness, with 150 health, will still be ready to go here to get his uber up very soon. He's going to get that just now, and they do pop it, even though they only had one person to pop it against. Probably didn't have to do that. Um, so a little bit of a waste of an uber there, which it's not going to cost them too much just yet because they will be able to get out to the, the uh, second point and capture that. But they would they prefer having 100% Uber advantage? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they would. Nonetheless, very back and forth right now. And let's get on... Well, let's check out the Black Dynamite cam and see if he can't uh, get some kills here around this corner. He is just going to spam here for now. And this is... Uh, oh, that's an interesting little Sticky Trap location there. Which I wonder if they changed that in the newer version of Gully Wash because that's kind of tough to see uh, if you're not really paying attention and looking for it. Which 22D, I mean, when they walk around there, usually when you walk around there, you're going to have an Uber anyway and you're just going to pop it through that ch choke because you know, you know that there's going to be a sticky trap somewhere somewhere there, and if you can't see it, you're just going to be like, okay, well, it's here, let's pop. And there you go, they have popped a little bit early. Um, they didn't even want to have to deal with that, so uh, that sticky trap is a cute location, but it is all for naught. And that's N-A-U-G-H-T, by the way. Not, not. Or maybe N-O-U-G-H-T. It's, it's one of those one of those that means nothing. Uh, good counter pop, though, from Cherries, just as soon as they got the Uber ready to go. Uh, they might want to think about... I was going to say 
jumping their opponents instead of letting this soldier sneak up on them and get the kill on Black Dynamite. And now Cherry's down as well from Jay Schmidt. So actually, this is a really good round looking so far for uh, 22D. <coughs> and I like that. That uh, Oh, no! I was going to say I like that little sneaky hiding spot play from... Uh, from C, I think it was, but then Tommy just got taken down as well, and so it's going to turn around, and I think, I think in PsyOps' favor, but now, no, actually, they're losing um, too many players, so they've got their medic up, and uh, Cherry's going to be healing Blueberry, getting the uber advantage, 25% uber advantage right now, and that's actually going to be even more, because Cherry's can heal hurt people, whereas, uh, there you go, Tommy just was healing a scout. Um, the difference there, of course, if you're healing somebody who is below 142% of maximum health, um, aka if you're healing somebody who is not fully overhealed, you get a much faster charge rate than if you're healing somebody who is fully overhealed. So, uh, healing a scout there who's not using the Boston Basher means you very quickly get him up to that full overheal, and then your uber charge does not charge as quickly. And so as a result, there is, there was, at least, a big uber advantage, and even bigger because they're using the crits Krieg. Oh, man! Everybody except Tommyist in that choke got taken down. Um, and Blueberry now has been taken down in the aftermath of that crits. But it's very nice crits to use. Tommyist has 75% now and can't find anybody to heal. Where is that guy? Tommyist? What are you doing? He is all the way back in his own spawn, waiting for his team to spawn on top of him, and it does look like Psyops is ready to push out here. Uh, they've taken the second point from 22D, and now they are going to push into last. Uh, 22D once again doing their, their standard defense on Gullywash of a heavy pyro and engineer. And I'm assuming the engineer is probably in that same spot downstairs. No, no. Oh, no, he's over here. Just completely missed that because my, my eyes don't work, apparently. But uh, we do have a nice little sentry location that's going to, uh, even if a player is ubered, it will blast him back very, very easily. Neo Russia on the sniper as well knocks down Mike. Um, that's almost counterproductive. Although Trisk now down as well, and here comes the Kritzkrieg. Not going to hardly do anything. They took down C, and that is just about all they can afford to do with that. Um, they are going to drag Black Dynamite back through here with some nice uh, crit stickies laying all over the place, so nobody's going to pop through that very quickly, but there they uh, they are now popped as well. So C and Christopher are both down, and now the PsyOps team, now they're in a good position. So I'm just trying to think about how to best analyze this, because, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple what happened. Um, PsyOps pushed in. I think they realized that there was going to be a, like a really big turtley defense. I think they heard the minigun... Uh, spun up. They saw the sniper and all that. So they were like, yeah, they're probably going to turtle really hard again. So we'll just push in. We'll try and crits in, and then we'll back out. And that is what they did. Now they have another crits advantage. They're going to push in with that right away, and there's going to be more crit stickies coming in. There you go. From Maine, they take down Tommy just right away, so no Uber anytime soon for 22D. Uh, good kills here from most of the rest of this team. Neo Russia has gotten a kill on Trisk, though, and is still in position to try and defend this point. Uh, the only problem here with having two pyros and an engineer is that there is no scout right now to go take advantage of the fact that everybody on the PSYOPs team is dead. They are going to try and push out here with the pyro to capture this point. Uh, and now a scout comes in to help stack it as well. But here comes the PSYOPs team to at least get one kill, and they killed Tommyness. Microphone getting around behind and getting that kill in the base while the rest of the 22D team was trying to stack the point. <coughs> Schmitz even trying to get around there behind Trisk, and he ends up dying as well. So uh, this is looking really good for PSYOPs right now. And they should be able to push back in to last pretty soon. Are they running the regular Uber now is the question. Uh, I don't even... Did they lose their medic ever? Yeah, I guess they did. So Cherry's... Yeah, they, because they wiped out on that attack. Okay, so they do have a regular Uber and are going to have a good advantage. They may not even have to use it right now because there is somebody on the point already, and that means it's going to be very spammable. There have to be people standing on the point to stop the capture. Um, Uber is almost ready to go, but it doesn't matter. Neo Russia, the only man left alive, goes down to the crit pistol after the round there from Mike Rofone. And we're going to watch the Mike Rofone cam. Here we go. Um, so people, you know, people saying in my stream chat right now that the off-classing is awesome. And yeah, I usually agree with that. Um, <clears throat> the most often that you ever see off-classing is on these last point defenses where, um, where it's turtling becomes an option. 
you know, more so than in these big wide open spaces that you really need all this mobility that you get from the soldiers, like these blue soldiers and, and demo man and scouts who are just jumping around all over the place and getting so many kills and being so effective. Like, you will never see a heavy or a pyro being as effective out in the open like that as a really skilled demo man or soldier just because um, you don't have the mobility. You may have high DPS, but you have to be within range to deal that DPS, and the best guys for getting in range to deal it are the soldiers, demo, and scouts. So that is why you normally see that particular setup. Soldiers, demos, and scouts are just the best way to maneuver your high damage classes around very quickly and get it out there. So, uh, now 22D is in position to push, but they've got to be careful. There may end up being a, uh, a nice turtle defense here. And once again, this sentry downstairs beneath that, I'd like to see them change it up a little bit, just because I think 22D will be expecting this to come in. Um, of course, the score right now is 2-1 to one in favor of PsyOps. And there you go, the sentry does actually finish off C. If the Frontier Justice was loud, which I don't think it is anymore, but if it were, Flyaway would just have gotten himself two crits. For the, uh, for the Frontier Justice. Nice little engineer gun there, which I do like using from time to time, but it feels really gimpy with only three shots, I gotta say. I like having my, my six full shots there most of the time. Um, 22D, though, ready to push in here. Microphone on the pyro right now, and now they've got C on the sniper, so they are gonna wait. 22D will wait here until C gets a pick or until he dies and respawns at something else. And is he going to get a pick is the question. He doesn't see anybody right now. Oh, he sees a medic. And there he goes. Cherry is, is down. So that is going to be all they needed. They are going to push in with this. The Uber is ready. There is going to be no counter Uber whatsoever because the medic is dead. And 22D uh, should be able to clean this up, get the rest of the kills here, and get on that point. And that is what they do. It is now 2-2. Two to two. And I'm going to lose my voice after this game because I have been shouting. Not nonstop, but I've been shouting a lot. It's been pretty good. And we're going to watch the Black Dynamite roll out here um, on this older version of Gully Wash, which, like, nobody plays anymore. <laughs> but uh, he didn't take any fall damage from that, which i got to tell you, I am not able to do that at all. Taking the left side roll out, which is quite safe because it allows him to back up onto the kit or just back all the way out like he's doing right now without too much trouble. But the problem with taking a safe roll out like that is he can't really support his team very well, and as a result, PsyOps do have to back away from that mid-fight. 22D may end up um, winning this round after such a good mid-fight for them, although they didn't kill cherries yet, so there is going to be... Wow, that is a, kind of a weird camera angle there. There is going to be, I think, an even uber situation, and the 22D team here um, is going to have a little bit of a tough time pushing in. We'll see if they decide to suicide somebody in an off-class again. That was always fun. The, the kill there that C got last round on the sniper was critical absolutely critical to their push. But no, instead, I think they're just going to push in with both soldiers right away. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. They are going to pop that Uber immediately, taking down the sentry gun right away. That was their first focus. Uh, and now they're going to send somebody onto the point, which is going to force the red team to respond there and go sit on the point themselves. Um, they're in a prime spamming position, but the problem is everybody from 22D just died. So... PsyOps should be able to push back out here and grab their second. Jay Schmitz, uh, I don't know what he wants to do right now, but apparently all he can think about is getting away because there's way too many players there from the PsyOps team to really be able to handle it. So he, he made the right choice there in backing out and sticking with the rest of his team, making sure that his team was not down in a 6-on-5 situation. And in fact, Mike just ended up dying there to Neo Russia over on the sides here. Um, almost got this kill, I think. Neo was down to about 20 health but almost doesn't count. This is not horseshoes or hand grenades. And now, who is this? This is C? This is C, the roaming soldier actually standing upstairs right now, ready to spam down death upon his opponents if they try and defend from the wrong position. So they got to be really careful about this. And C, I mean, I like that. I really like that he managed to get around there. Uh, Cherry's had to pop the Uber just to save a couple of scouts here and try and save the second point. I don't think that's going to work. There's going to be a big Uber advantage now for 22D. Tommyness uh, pushing his players forward. And they are capping that second point, and now pushing in very, very quickly with their 100% Uber. Um, I don't even know what kind of face that was that Neo Russia just made down there, but uh, I think it's a happy one. It's got a little smile on it, so we're going to call it happy. Why aren't they pushing right now? I don't know, because they actually had a player advantage as well. It could have been that they were waiting for somebody to respawn and get in position, but I... I 
I don't know. They need to be pushing because they're losing their uber advantage now, and they know it. They know they're losing that advantage. Um. Okay, they just got two kills. Push. There they go. Yes. All right. They're pushing now. They need to start setting up some stickies somewhere, or just getting time down on that point. And wow, nice kills there by um, Blueberry Villain, but it was not enough. Tommy is even getting a crossbow kill to finish off Blueberry Villain there. So very nicely done by the 22D team. They have gone up three to two. And I'm excited now. This is getting to be a much more fast-paced game than it was in the first half, even though there was some fast-paced stuff happening then. This is much quicker. And Black Dynamite, once again, taking this uh, this, this more passive rollout on the left-hand side, where he can just back away when he needs to. But right now, nobody's pressuring him, so he can actually uh, sneak out here, wait for his medic to catch up to him, and get the heals. Oh, man, nice kills by Neo Russia, C, and Maniac, though. And that is already... Uh, Oh, I thought that was three down. It was two down, apparently, for um, Psyops. Now it's three, and Mike, can he get the skill? No, Maniac ends up finishing him off with a pistol. Cherry's running back here with Blueberry, and Blueberry gets taken down, so Cherry's going to have the uh, needles out, ready to defend herself to the death if need be. But no, she gets back into spawn just fine. And now we're in that position again where uh, it looks like Psyops will be stuck on their last point with an Engineer and uh, just the engineer right now. No pyro, nothing like that, because they do have the Uber at 100%, so they're not too worried about it. Wow, Black Dynamite actually took down Maniac there with a nice sticky trap, even though I don't think he should have. 22D realized that was there, but they tried to chase after him, and as a result, uh, they lost a player. It's going to make it tough for them to push in. I don't think they should right now, and it looks like they aren't, so good stuff. Good stuff. They're in position to, but they kind of have to wait for their last scout to come up at them. Whoa, Neo Russia, you are a ballsy person right there. Um, standing on top of Stickies as he shoots them. Uh, he could have taken damage from that. Wouldn't have killed him, but he could have taken damage from that. And, I mean, every bit of damage that you take is really just kind of pointless when you have 100% Uber and you really want to push. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Psyops here, um, right now, setting up a sentry at, is it level 3? It is level 3. Uh, in a nice little protected location here, really nothing can see that, except maybe, no, not even here. If, as you walk into here, you really have to get quite forward before you can even spam that sentry. As a result, the sentry, it, it's not supposed to cover the doors. It is supposed to cover the point and the point only. Um, and pretty much that's what it's going to do. Uh, the 22D team, I'm sorry, yeah, they, they will push in, they will try to find that sentry as soon as they can and spam it to death. But, the, the process of finding it and spamming it is going to take probably half of the Uber, which is exactly what the PsyOps team wants to happen. Now just building up a uh, dispenser here to level 2 so they can keep their you know their medic healed or whoever else happens to be standing over there. Uh, and the 22D team is pretty much just sitting back and having fun. They've actually got somebody on the point right now, interestingly enough. And Chris takes out Microphone on the sniper. The Uber is in right now. And now they're, like I said, it took them about half of their Uber just to spam that sentry down. As a result, that gives a lot of free time for the PSYOPs team to deal a lot of damage. And that is exactly what they did. They've taken down a lot of players. We've got uh, Jay Schmitz and Neo Russia, the only ones left right now. Neo Russia is the only man left. And where is he? He is in the water, getting taken down by Blueberry Villain. So that is going to be 22D losing the second point there to a scout right now. But it won't just be a scout. It'll be a scout, medic, and everybody else walking out there and stacking up that point as quickly as possible. And C decided he wanted to try and get up here again, sneak around, but he ran into both enemy soldiers by accident. And uh, I tell you what, if I ran into two rocket launcher wielding dudes while I was trying to sneak around and kill their medic or something, um, I wouldn't be happy about it. I just wouldn't be happy about it. There goes Blueberry Villain to a sticky trap, which he had to know was there. Decided to walk around anyway, even though they didn't have their Uber ready quite yet. They do have it now, though, and they are going to probably use it to push into their opponents. Um, uh, Tommyness, though is doing a very good job of staying back away from any position where he can get spammed too hard, and Cherry's actually dropped the Uber and died there. Oh, that's no fun. So, uh, very quickly, we do see that most of the PsyOps team is dead. Microphone trying to get the kill on the Medic and cannot do it. Nowhere close, in fact. I mean, uh, maybe he grabbed that health kit, but uh, he is perfectly fine. They held on to that middle point, and I'm pretty darn sure now that we are actually going to see 22D win this round because they have that big Uber advantage once again. Oh, no! I've been wrong before, and I was wrong again. Blueberry Villain made exactly the right call there, pushing in and forcing the Uber on his opponents. And actually, that was 
such a wasted Uber. You saw what happened there, where Tommyus was just like, okay, well, we don't even need to stay invincible anymore because if you're invincible, you can't capture points. So he was just like, okay, no. Instead, we I'm gonna cancel the Uber early by pulling out the amputator and then standing on the point and helping capture. That was how how much of a wasted Uber that was, and that never feels good. But I mean, game sense wise, it's just what you gotta do. What you gotta do. So. You pop the Uber because somebody jumps in on you and you're just like, okay, I don't want to die. Well, too bad. Pop the Uber, wasted it, and now we just got to push forward and hope we can uh, recover from that little error there. And, I mean, it's the right right call. Absolutely the right call. PsyOps is now laying down some sticky bombs over here on this area to try and stop that. Christopher taken down by Blueberry Villain. Where is that guy right now? He is... Oh, I see. They Ubered out into their opponents. Very nice call, actually. Uh, it looked like Cherry's noticed that... Um, they were standing way too far forward. Somebody, anyway, noticed they were standing way too far forward, so they, they popped Uber in. But now Cherries has been taken down by an Invincible Neo Russia, and there is a sentry up, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. Maybe it will! Actually, most of the players here are the ones doing the damage, and there goes Neo Russia and Timonist. That little combo tried to capture the point there and play a sneaky little game, and it didn't work. They're on to you now. They're on to your games. Oh, man. So. Once again, Psyops trying to push out here onto their second point. They're having to deal with Maniac, Christopha, and others, uh, including C, who right now is playing the Sniper once again. Where is that guy? Yep, he's just standing over here waiting for somebody to walk through this uh, garage choke point. Oh, wow. Look at how close that Sniper dot is right there. Somebody's going to get shot. Somebody is going to get shot. Where is C right now? Where is that guy? Nope, okay, he's actually backed off and is changing angles here to watch for anybody walking around this corner. Takes down Black Dynamite. Nice kill on the, the Demo Man. And what that's going to do is let the team push through here without having to worry about stickies. That is exactly what they're doing. C is going to sneak around and see if he can't get a second headshot. Uh, nothing yet. But uh, the one thing this actually does for him is... Oh! <laughs> is let him get a kill on the medic. So, he's gotten the kill on the medic now. That is going to be huge, hugely beneficial for the 22v team. And what they need to watch out for now is exactly what's happening. A soldier jumping in and trying to force the enemy medic, well, the, not the enemy medic, uh, Tommyist to either pop or die. But it doesn't matter, uh, as 22v is now in position for the Uber. They're going to try and kill this Pyro. Just get that shotgun out, and there you go. They finished off Mike. Um, medic standing upstairs, trying to keep the heals on the soldier. But right now, it doesn't matter too much. 22D, it's actually 3-on-3 three three right now, with Jay Schmitz taking a lot of damage, but so is Cherries. Doesn't matter too much if the Medic dies right now. Really, you want to kill the fragging classes, just so that they can't stop you from capping the point. Blueberry Villain gets two kills with one rocket there. Uh, or actually, that might have been Trisk helping get those kills. Yeah, Trisk got the two kills with one rocket, but Blueberry was helping with the damage. And so now Blueberry needs to pop back in here and grab some more health. But Mike is going to start the capture immediately. He's going to have to deal with a demo, scout, and sniper sneaking out here to try and get the kills. And Flyweight is taken down by C, once again sniping. Cherries is on the crit screen, which, oh, this is an interesting choice. Um, what they're going to have to do with this is push into their opponents while their opponents are holding in the lobby. Because if they don't, their opponents are just going to uber into them in last and... The Critch Creek is going to be so ineffective, it will be laughable. So, uh, we are going to be watching... Um, I think we'll just get on the Blueberry Villain cam, because they might even crit him. Uh, nope! <laughs> they're not going to crit a dead guy. So, they're going to have to crit Black Dynamite, who is right now laying down some sticky traps, but he's trying to conserve his stickies. He wants to keep his uh, full rack of eight loaded up here for when this crit is ready to go, which it almost is, and they're not pushing in with it right now. Oh, no! because now Timonus is going to be able to push his team in. Uh, Flyweight actually takes the crits! And it's not going to matter, because there's good uber flashing going down by Timonus. So this crits Krieg was just not the right call in that situation. 22D ends up bringing it up to, what is it, 4 to 1 now. Or to 2. No, 4 to 2. My bad, it is 4 to 2. <laughs> um, in favor of 22D. So they just need one more point to win this game. Let me see here. Uh, Trisk, what are you doing, Trisk? Well, we'll find out. It's going to take a wild jump up here towards the demo man. Takes him down with the help of Mike Rafone. And actually, it was Mike who got the, the finishing blow there. Trisk did a lot of damage though. And there you go. 
Uh, Blueberry, Trisk, and everybody else just finishing off the 22D team and very quickly jumping out here towards the point. There can't be all that much time left. How much time is left here? Uh, six minutes, in fact. So, no, there is not a lot of time left. Um, but this round could go very quickly. There's only one player even left alive for 22D right now. They're going to get a big respawn wave, but the Uber is ready to go here for red. They're going to pop it immediately. Not even captured second yet, and they are already on last. Trying to get the kills. They've gotten two. Christophas down. C is down. Tommyist is down. That's gonna be a. That's like the quickest round I've ever seen. Literally the quickest round I've ever seen on Gully Wash. Um, so it's now three to four, and apparently C is uh, <laughs> starting to get a little antsy here because this has been a long game. But they had pauses. They had time. Um, anyway, it's still four to three for 22D. So uh, it has to be a very good game out of Psyops if they want to win it. 22D, though, playing a little passively here. Their demo man is back in the choke. The medic is getting spammed into this hallway, which is not a fun position to be in. Roller is coming down and dealing some damage here, actually. You gotta be careful about that. Uh, 22D only has three players left alive, and they're all kind of backed up against the wall right now. Tommy is taken down. There goes C, and it's just Christopher left. He's gonna start laying down some sticky traps, probably. No, not even that. He's just gonna jump straight back towards last and maybe try and set up a trap somewhere there. Yeah, in the doorway. Okay, so he's just gonna wait for somebody to push in. He's gonna hope that the opposing team is a little over eager here, but if you don't want your trap, what can you hope to do? Uh, he's not watching it. So, I mean, really, those stickies are just kind of there to, yeah, to stop, yeah, to slow down the opposing team more than anything. And now they've been detonated, but didn't do any damage. 22D once again has their highly turtly defense. Uh, Maniac, C, and Jay Schmitz are all off-classing once again right now, and this is that situation where they know they don't need a lot of mobility, they just need a lot of high damage. But, does it even matter right now? Trisk and Black Dynamite and Mike are all down, so actually it does. 22D here, um, getting some crazy kills. It's only Flyweight left alive, and they don't have to worry too much. They do have to worry a little bit about the Scout, so they are going to leave somebody to watch for back caps from the water area as they push the rest of their team forward to start capping the second point once again. Big uber advantage right now for 22D. So, uh, that was a really clutch defense there to prevent their opponents from tying the game up. And... Uh, C is going to sneak out here, see the scouts, try and hit a couple of rockets there. Doesn't hit anything yet. But now he's hiding. And there he goes. Nice little drop down in front of the scouts. Takes down Mike. That is what you hide for. You, uh, you hope that their scouts push in just enough so that your scouts can say, okay, they're right here. Drop down right on their faces right now. And that is exactly what happened. A good kill. But Timonus somehow got taken down meanwhile while I was being so impressed by C. Um, and Blueberry is going to sneak around here with uh, his medic keeping the heels on. And so now there is uh, almost a full uber for PsyOps. Apparently Timonus went down to a trap. So uh, that's not going to be good for him. Trisk jumping in, trying to get a kill, but that just didn't do anything. Can the PsyOps team capture the second point and push on the last with their Uber? Or are they going to get forced? They do get forced. C with a nice Uber force there. So uh, it's going to be 22D sitting pretty on defense with just a tiny bit of Uber advantage. They need to, yeah, once again, get their turtle classes up. And that's what they're doing. They're going to have their engineer set up that sentry in that very common location behind the crates over there. And what... Are we going to see from the PsyOps team? No off-classing at all. They're going to push in with the normal classes because it might take too long to start getting an off-class over here. Uh, we'll find out. As Flyway is just kind of peeking in towards main, let's make sure you can see what's going on. C is on Sniper, and really far forward on Sniper. That is not usually a good position for a Sniper because you will get spammed by a rocket, and rockets at that range are going to be deadly. But, uh, looks like he actually is going to be perfectly okay. So... Uh, the Uber's ready to go for blue team, and almost ready for our red team. Blue is not going to push in with this because they don't have the mobility to really do that. So they're just going to sit back with their ultra-high damage um, team composition right now and wait for their opponents to come in. They've got that pyro there just to kind of control the space. And very quickly, we do see this Uber is being a little bit wasted as they got popped into the air, didn't get a lot of damage down. They forced the Uber out of 22D, uh, and they've gotten the kill on the Engineer. I think the Sentry's down as well, and a Scout getting the cap almost. So he's going to force a lot of players to go sit on the point, and if they're sitting back here, not only can they not effectively deal damage, but they will take a lot of damage, and there you go. All they need is one or two more kills here. Can they get these kills? Taking down the soldier it means that they bring it up to four to four. And how much time is left in this half? I wish I could press tab and tell you, but we will find out when ESEA's client decides to tell us. One minute and 12 seconds. So we, ladies and gentlemen, just might see an overtime game here. 
Um, and so, Psyops getting the, uh, the overheals on the Blueberry. He's probably going to take a jump here pretty soon, but he does spot a scout there. Kills Maniac right away. Uh, Jay Schmitz is down as well, so no scouts left alive for 22D. They've lost their soldiers as well. It's only the Meadow and uh, Meadow Endemic. I'm sorry, the Medic and Demo left alive. They are backing out, and actually, even though the heal beam was on him, Crucify got taken down. Tommyness is still alive with about 50% Uber, um, but it's not going to be enough as, uh, keep in mind, the PsyOps team knows, okay, well, there's nobody left for him to heal, so we're going to have an Uber advantage. Uh, PsyOps going to get the capture on second point right now, and there is enough time for them to actually finish off this game here and get their fifth all cap uh, if they push in like right now, which it looks like that's what they want to do. Where are their soldiers, though? Kind of need to have, there you go, Trisk at least pushing in. Blueberry's over on the other side over there. And here comes Uber on the Demo Man right away, walking over those stickies through main. Not got any kills yet, and there's the counter Uber from Timiness, but there's a scout on the point right now, and he actually gets the cap down there with nobody paying attention to the point because they were all focused on the Uber. So that is game over. Psyops bringing it back from 4-2 to two to push it up to 5-4 to four in the last minute of the game. Thank you guys for watching. This has, of course, been Salamancer. Hit subscribe over on YouTube.com slash Fatmop. Um, I do always cast these live on Twitch.tv slash Fatmop. And uh, tell your friends to check me out. I mean, leave rates, comments, subscribes, whatever else that you want to do to check this channel out and help promote competitive TF2 because I am all about that. I'm signing out.